today's special. Not only will it uh, shred up to 10 sheets at a time in the front tray, it'll auto shred 130 sheets in a row from the back. So if you've got large stack documents, old tax returns, right? Uh, bills that have stacked up and piled up, you can line them up. If you've got a stack of receipts, put them in the back and watch it shred it one at a time. It is our best value of the day. Uh, we are not gonna charge you $200 like retail is charging or 184 like we will be charging tonight at midnight. Today you will only pay $129.99. We're doing uh, free, uh, free shipping on all electronics today, so you're getting it home at a great, great deal. Micro-cut uh, technology is the best technology available because we're chopping it in such individual pieces. Nobody will be able to piece it together, like strip cutting, uh, some of the, uh, the uh, sort of antiquated ways that they used to uh, uh, shred. It's fast, it's convenient. You have, as I said, multiple options of being able to do a whole bunch at once or just do it piecemeal like that. It's our today's special. You have three color choices. The one you're looking at right up front which I have on is uh, the silver and black. It comes in all black right here. And then it comes in champagne gold on the top. Very easy to use. There's a little button on the front. If you put the button to the middle, it turns it off. If you put it to one side, it will reverse in case you get something stuck in there accidentally. You've got uh, setting number one, which is for the front tray, and then setting number two, which will continuously shred all the way. It's an exclusive bundle with exclusive colors. Uh, we're doing four flex, uh, so you can get it on for $32.50. Here's what the value of what you would have to pay if you bought it elsewhere. This exact shredder on the market is $210. We're throwing in a waist liner to get you started. I have a backup a box of waist liners. Those just go inside. Um, but you can use the liner that you get over and over if you want. And we're giving you six of the lubricant sheets. Those are basically uh, oil sheets that go through and lubricate the gears. You gotta do that like, it really depends on how much you use your shredder. Uh, probably once a month is ample. I also have extra uh, lubricating sh sheets available. So why do I want this? Well, why don't we read some of the reviews? This thing is a beast. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it'll shred everything. Uh, we're able to put uh, place sheets in the feeder and still manually feed documents at the front at the same time. Great shredder, shredder. love the paper feed. Doesn't jam, large capacity. Look at that big view window. And you can use that uh, as recycling material, by the way. Saves you a load of time. It is on caster wheels. I will step over the front of it and show you. Uh, it is a brand new profile. It is thinner than it's ever been and a little bit taller. We found in talking to a lot of customers out there that the, the short kind of squatty one is good, but it's a little bulky. So we thinned it out and we raised uh, the level on it. Um, inside here, and this will automatically turn the machine off. This is your bin. And what's inside here is recyclable material. And I'll do this, look at this. This is what you're getting rid of. This is, nobody will ever be able to read that, okay? It's great if you're sending out packages to people. Um, it is gonna be a great way to be able to protect your identity. Uh, you simply slide that in. As soon as it goes back in, it'll automatically kick back on as a safety switch. Um, and again, just dump that into a big bag, tie it up tight, put it on the curb. You can recycle newspaper, you can recycle regular paper. Uh, again, item number 715630. Listen, once your identity gets stolen, you're in for a nightmare that'll probably last anywhere from one to four years. The uh, Federal Com uh, uh, Trade Commission uh, actually says to you, there are many steps that you can take to minimize the risk of it being an identity theft victim. For example, closely safeguard your social security number, and here's the big part, shred receipts, shred copies of credit applications and other sensitive documents. That's by the government, okay? They, they know how, how easily, I'm gonna turn this off just so I can talk for a bit. They know how easily that your identity can be stolen. You can put in here old, old bills credit card uh, receipts. You can put in here tax documents, so you get rid of those. You can get rid of uh, any personal information you want and you can do it lickety split. And here's some of the things we talk, what about ATM receipts? What are you doing with those? If you lay them, uh, leave them around or you just throw them in the garbage, if you don't think people go through garbage, you know better than that, right? You put some on the curb, sometimes in 10 minutes it's gone. In fact, Danny told me he put something on the curb yesterday at his apartment in Boca. He goes, God, Dad, it was funny, it was gone in like five minutes. Like, yeah, some people, most people are, good, are looking to recycle things, right? And, and repurpose things. But there are people out there that are looking to actually steal stuff from you. So if you want to eliminate that, this is the way to do it. Bill Duggan standing by again. Bill, I love this new version. I'm gonna buy one of these today. I like the height of it. I love the big capacity. Most of all, I love that it, when you own one of these, you feel good. It's a feel good purchase. 
when you get that instant satisfaction of seeing this go in and getting that end result. I'm not sending it off to a third party. But for a lot of us, shredding was a chore because I had to sit here all afternoon on a weekend or, you know, while the kids are in nap or, or in Zoom class, this is too loud. Guess what? Now you don't even have to worry about that. 10 sheet capacity in the front. This tray in the back, game changer. 130 sheets. So what does that mean? Yes, maybe I found this huge stack of documents in a drawer and this, or it just kept growing on my desk. So what was... 30 sheets has now become 60, has now become 90, up to 130 sheets. I can take that whole stack or half, whatever I want. I'm loading this up and it's gonna automatically go through a few pages at a time. The best part is I'm free to do something else. Go back to sending an email, get another cup of coffee, take the dog for a walk, automatically it'll shut off. All these features are why embassies, all our embassies are customer picks. This just happens to be one of our most powerful ones. So 130 sheet in the back, 10 sheets in the front. By the way, I can be shredding in the front and the back at the exact same time. So I don't have to wait for all 130 to get shredded up. You pointed out the bin capacity, five and a half gallons, largest that we ever offer. Because let's be real, my home office is really small. I do not have room for a trash can, computer stuff, and a shredder. This is my waste bin and my shredder. You see that large peekaboo window? And by the way, these finishes are exclusive to us at HSN. It's a nice, shiny, lustry, sparkling finish, so you leave it out so it doesn't look bad and it performs like a dream. I'm gonna pause this just for a moment because I want you to realize this larger bin, awesome, because I'm emptying it a lot less often because it has a bigger capacity. But look what I'm throwing away. This is that micro cut. It is a smaller, finer shred. And that's important because if you're still shredding with something like this, this is 50-year-old technology. It worked back in the 70s, but they have figured it out and they have upgraded. And who's the they? It's the identity thieves that are out there. And the thing is, they much rather shop with your credit and use your name than their own. And the thing is, most of us don't realize it happened until it's too late. So you see, we just evolved from strip cut to cross cut. Cross cut is definitely a better option, but they figured that out as well. And look what happens with micro cut. The gears get bigger, the teeth multiply. So that's really what you get per page and remember we're not doing one page at a time we can go through tons of pages and that heft and that muscle that's why this is great that this is on casters so yes i can wheel it away i can wheel it out what i'd like to or just leave it out but more importantly this box weighs over 20 pounds and because it's a today special it's shipping to you for free we don't always get to offer that no assembly required you really just get it home plug it in i don't have to get it on wi-fi i don't have to download an app and all of a sudden you're like, bye-bye, this is gone, this is gone. It feels good, the clutter's disappearing, I'm getting more office space back. And that's really the reward. But the big reward is something we hope you never run into. It's making sure your credit's okay, making sure your identity's okay. Because you know, your credit score then affects your interest rates and all of that on cars and homes. And one in seven of us fall victims to identity theft. One thing we all fall victims to is tax season, right? tax seasons right now. We're getting stuff sent to us. We're making copies or sending stuff off. 49% of all identity theft happens right now during tax season. So upgrade. If this is your excuse to put off your taxes, get a shredder home. By the way, I'm adding staples and look what happens. Staples and a bunch of papers in the front. It's auto shredding in the back. You see that end result. By the way, I'm using a clear bin so you can see micro cut and how this works in action. Unfortunately, we don't offer the clear bin, but you still get that large peekaboo window. And that is the power, performance, and really peace of mind you get by getting this home. And remember, ships you for free, right? That big box is gonna ship to you for free. Recycle the cardboard. Don't recycle your identity. That barcode has my information. There's an app for that. Guess what? This can go through thick cardboard even, giving me micro cut and giving yourself wow. peace of mind. Yeah. I mean, you just gotta get it home and start putting it to work. Hey, you know what? And I, I will tell you, one of the one of my best purchases ever in electronics, uh, and by the way, I'm feeding it in the front. It's working the back and the front at the same time. One of our uh, reviews, one of our customers said they love the fact that they can do that. So whatever I get, and this is the pleasure that I take in having this machine, is that as soon as I get junk mail, I don't, some mail I don't even open up. 
right? I put it right through. If it could do cardboard, it could do multiple layers, up to 10 layers at a time. You could put full pieces of mail in here unopened. If you know it's crud, you don't have to go ahead and open it up. You can do that right away. It's a part of my routine at home. And by the way, even if you put it in a little bit sideways, don't worry about that. I just did with that one. It can go through 10 sheets at a time. So if it goes in on a little bit of an angle, do not worry about it. It'll chew it up. It'll eat it up. It is unbelievable. 715630. Let's show everybody the value one more time. If you try to pick this up anywhere else, it is a $200 shredder, all right? Today you are getting it for uh, $129, and we're including a waist liner and the lubricant sheets. Those you have to buy separately, we are getting those all to you at once. It is free shipping and handling. This thing weighs up to 20 pounds. So when you get it, I'm gonna ask you, those gears are not made of plastic, folks. They are heavy duty steel gears, right? So they have a weight to them. You want that. You don't want a lightweight shredder. You want a shredder that is substantial, you're gonna get that. It is on caster wheels. I'm gonna turn it off just so I can talk a little bit. Um, and it's not noisy, it's just when you're trying to talk and keep your thoughts going. You know, it's, it's very, it's actually very calm. <laughs> when, when you're not talking, it's like, ah, I'm shredding. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so on the top three buttons, uh, uh, basically there's an off switch in the middle. You can reverse it. If you run over something that you didn't know was in there, here's a perfect example. Do you ever get a, a piece of mail and there's like a nickel in it? You know, they throw like, it's like, hey, we're paying you a nickel to whatever. Like, that's worth anything. Um, but if it ever gets jammed, you can rewind it, all right, and, and, and back it out. You know, put it in reverse and back it out. Then you've got two uh, settings. One, just to do single sheets at a time or up to 10 sheets at a time. And then the auto feeder, that's number two. And that's all you need to do. You have a light built on inside. You have a see-through uh, track in the front so you can see when your bin is getting full. But if you're one of those people like me that, get, that you know, can, has a tendency to get disorganized, maybe you come home and you're like, oh my gosh, there's four days of mail on the table. Oh, do I have to go through all that? Hey, you can pre-sort it. The stuff that you don't have to open, put in one pile. The stuff that you need to open but you wanna get rid of right away, that can be in another pile. It's one of the ways I really got organized at home because I would have stacks of mail. You know, I'd be working or I'd go on trips, I'd come home. Oh my gosh, all this stress. This is a stress reliever and you're doing the right thing. Do you realize that if more people had shredders, there would just be less, less thievery out there, right? I mean, think about it. More people protecting themselves would be, would be harder on the criminals. So you're actually doing everybody else a favor. If it's really, really hard to do, less people will do it. Problem is, identity theft has become so easy. You know, oh, they don't need much information. If you think they just need your social, you're wrong. They can find information uh, based on your address. They can look old, uh, up old receipts, uh, just your name. You know, I, I don't like people even knowing where I live. I'm sure you don't either, strangers, right? Why would you want that? If you put your mail in the garbage, that's exactly what you're doing, all right? You're basically, and I said this earlier, you're leaving your door open. You, you would never leave your house without locking the door if you were going somewhere. You wouldn't leave your car door open, right? People are gonna go in there, steal your phone, steal your computer, you wouldn't do that. And I'm not saying that all people are bad, but the point is, the more you do, and we've learned that in the last 14 months or whatever it is, the more you do to protect yourself, the better off you are. Consider this, like I said earlier, washing your hands of all that crud that you don't need anymore. And what are the things you don't need? Old receipts. Um, if you've got tax returns, I've, like I've got tax returns, I don't anymore, but I had tax returns that were going back like nine, 10 years. I don't need that old information. And in my tax return, W-2s with your social on them, your social security's in there, the names of your kids, your addresses, where you work, all that information is right there. So it's not just about the social, it's all that other stuff. Um, credit card receipts, um, loan applications. You, you know all the things you write that personal information down and all a person has to do is when you go to bed at night and you put your garbage on the curb, is go out there with a little pair of scissors or a knife, open it up and grab a handful of mail. Take it home, they put it under a microscope. Yeah, they really do that. <laughs> they do, all right? We've had people that work here, that are still working here, that have had their identity stolen. And it's a tunnel. Once you go in it, it's so hard to get yourself back out of it. It really, really is without hiring a whole legal team. You know, sure, at the end of the day, you don't wind up paying for all that stuff, but the, the, you wind up paying for people to help you not pay for that stuff. So it's a great way to go about it. We, we are about halfway through our presentation. This pi uh, price expires at midnight tonight. It'll go back up to $184.99. And remember, if you buy it any, anywhere else, you're not gonna get all the extras that we're throwing in, which is we're throwing in the liner. We're throwing in the lubricating sheets. Um, we also have extra liners available. Uh, and not a bad idea to buy these because they fit perfectly uh, on the bin inside. So if you just wanna tie these up, and you'll probably empty it. I think I empty mine once a month. 
sometimes more. It really depends on time of year. Uh, around the holidays, I empty it like every week. But you can use these little liners. They go right inside, and we have a 50-count bag of these that are available uh, for 20 bucks. And you can grab those home as well. Um, but get it home. Colors available one more time. This is silver and black. We're just calling it silver. The one over here is black, all black. All right, and you can see how it, how it snugs up right against the table here, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. We, we, we made it thinner and a little taller. That was the feedback that we got. And then we have it in the champagne gold. Embassy, uh, by the way, the most limited, uh, more than half gone. Um, we have been offering shredders for many, many years. Um, we have different types of shredders. This is a top of the line shredder as far as capacity, what it does. You don't have to worry about it. It's easy to operate. And if you run your business out of your home, or even if you're just running your home out of your home, it's important that you get one of these, all right? Even the FCC says get one, all right? If you can afford it. And what's nice, you know, Embassy is responsible for, you know, a giant chunk of the market, right? I think they were, I know that one time they were 25%. Now they're, I think they're even more than that. Of all the shredders that are available, we, we have offered, how many have we sold? I think half a million shredders here at HSN. And it, I think it's one of those things that people don't even realize they need it. They're like, I didn't know I could get a personal shredder. Yeah, you can right? There's so many people running their businesses out of their home. They need a shredder. So get it home while you can. All right. And by the way, if you need extra lubricant sheets, we've got those as well. 478-720. Billy, I'm going to hand it back over to you while I take a drink of water. Uh, but I will tell you, and by the way, Bill shows you the one that's clear because we want you to see it shred. You don't actually get the clear one, although mm -hmm. I am waiting for the day when they offer that because I think it's brilliant. <laughs> but anyway, Bill, let's talk more about it. I mean, you know, when you think, I think a lot of people think of themselves they're like, you know, maybe somebody that's a real business person needs a shredder, but I don't need one well guy i used to take my stuff to the office because they had a better shredder but i haven't been there in a year and because i just ran out and i hope you noticed it was still going and going and just kept going and i went and picked up the mail i don't need this solicitation they pre-filled out all of those applications nowadays for our convenience and that's one of the reasons why identity theft is on the rise and as you said we get inundated by this stuff the stack gets larger and larger because we put it off or they pad them so thick, I have to open them up. But more importantly, just manage the clutter the moment it comes into your house. Or the stuff that you already have in your house, bring it over to your embassy and get that instant gratification. How many of us have been holding on to stuff? We're like, you know, I'm gonna take it to the, the bank and do that third party thing when they do it on their free day, one day a year. Oh, but I just missed it, it was last week. This is just convenience and power. And the quality is what embassy is known for because yes, they give us all these great features and that's why they've been a company that's really lasted. Because, you know, we did want a more slender footprint. So I didn't have to bend down nearly as far to get it into the shredder. Or didn't take as much floor space. Casters, the larger bin, the shiny finish even makes a difference. But this auto shred, game changer. Because truly, while it's doing this, I can go on to going through more stuff. Because, you know, I'm in the purging spring cleaning mode. And no joke, I found a cred an old checkbook from the 90s. There are 30 year old checks in here, but I can't even throw these away because I still have that bank account. It still has my name on it. And guy, you were talking about, you know, that little bit of information in the wrong hands. It's true. I love all the holiday cards I was getting, but you know, even those envelopes, I can't throw those away because my name, my information is on that envelope. So I shred everything. And I gotta tell you, it feels good. You see it happen right in front of your eyes. You see how it's evolved and that evolution is important. You know, we're not using the same telephones we were using 40 years ago, right? 50 years ago. And if you're still shredding with something like this, you're trusting your identity and your credit score to older dated technology. Upgrade. Get rid of the boxes and the stuff that you have because you know you can't even just throw that stuff away. But instead of having to go through page at a time, I can go through stacks at a time by loading up that auto shred tray and get that instant gratification. And because it's a today's special, yes, this ships for free. Because it's a today special, you're getting this nice large care package where I have uh, a lubricant sheets in here, six of them. I just want to show everyone what these are exactly. I'm going to pause this for a moment. So actually, pause it for a moment. It's an envelope with oil on the inside. So instead of having to drip oil in or, you know, give your car or tune up before the big road trip, I just put it right in here, that envelope. Mm. I let that envelope seep through. So eats about half of it and then maybe leave it overnight or leave it till the next time I shred. It's sitting there, all that oil's dripping down in there, keeping the gears nice and shiny and ready for the next time something is needed to be shredded, which by the way, it's a daily occurrence. But for a lot of us, we put it off because, you know, 
It's gonna jam. It overheats. Mm -hmm. It's a chore. Can't keep up with the, what I have in the house. The embassies, man, and you'll see why they're all customer picks. You'll see why 500,000 people have picked up embassy over the years. But more importantly, all the stuff we offer at HSN, how many of them are recommended by the government? Truly, by the government that we need to shred information, medical records, personal information, um, investment stuff, tax season. Remember, right now, during tax season, half of all identity theft happens. Yeah. So you're going to be ahead of the curve, protecting yourself, yeah. but just getting rid of those documents instantly. You know, Billy, a lot of people look at this and they think, I don't need it, right? I mean, they do. They're, they're like, all right, so let's say uh, you're not worried about all the other stuff. I'll bring up another couple of things that maybe uh, will include you. Do you have a checkbook? I mean, people still have yeah. checkbooks. I still have a checkbook. You know, I mean, I still do. And what's on the checkbook? Your account number and your routing number. All right, now those aren't your, neither of those are your social security, but they're very, very valuable, especially if you're a bad guy, all right? So maybe it's something like that. Uh, do you have a credit card? Do you, get, do you get credit card information? Do you have a bank account? Do you get information from your bank account? Everybody out there, all right, that, that lives in a home or an apartment or has family, or even if they're single or they're in school, they have, a, they have delicate information that's important and, and information that's valuable. So if you, don't, if you think you're excluded from it, you're not, okay? I mean, you know what, the best, one, the best thing, I actually remember going back where I actually, you know, used so many checks that I would get canceled checks back, all right? You know, or not canceled, you know, ones that had, yeah, that had already been canceled and already been cashed. What do you do with that old information? What do you do with your old checkbook ledger, right? What do you do? Do you sit there with a pair of scissors and try to cut it in 35 pieces? You'll never do what this thing can do. So there are so many different ways that you can utilize it with things that you need. It could be, what about this? Here's another one, I'm glad this came up. Do you get any uh, pres uh, prescription drugs? And when you get them, does it have your name on it and what you're taking? Do you want everybody to know that? Or do you wanna put it in the shredder and say goodbye? to medical records? Do you wanna say goodbye to uh, the information that you get from your investment uh, planners, right? You wanna get rid of that. Do you wanna get rid of tax information? You can get rid of that, all right? What about if you get something from Social Security, which I'm very sad to say that I actually got something from them about six months ago. I guess uh, I'm not getting close, but it, they're let, they let you know, you know, you get a Social Security statement, tells you how much you paid in and how much you'll get out. It could be your old paycheck. If you get a paycheck stub, a lot of us get auto automatic, uh, you know, deposit, but we still get a stub. Uh, so again, tax documents. Are you involved in any legal contracts? What about that? Put your, put those in there. When you're done, there's no reason to save it, and all you do is pop it in. And remember, if you want them to go one at a time, put them in the back, and now I don't even have to feed them. They go in all by themselves, uh, lickety split. One twenty nine ninety nine, only thirty two dollars on your credit card. Everybody in America or across the world realistically should have a shredder. Um, and by the way, when it starts to get full, it will turn itself off. You can back out whatever is in there and you can take the bin out. And you can see mine is getting very full. I just have to adjust it a little bit, but look what's inside here. This is why, this is why we shred people, right? So that nobody can steal anything here. I don't see my name here. I don't see any social security number here. I don't see where I live here. It's all disposable. And by the way, this makes the most incredible packing material. You can recycle it in a bag. It's all that you need to do. If you want to, just recycle it, put that back in. It'll automatically shut off as soon as I do that. And it'll back up whatever I need to back up. I can turn it back on. I can reload it. And here, look, I'll just take a stack of paper, put it right back in the back here, and it'll automatically start reloading here as well. All right, grab it while you can, everybody. 715-630 is the item number. You're gonna absolutely love this machine. It's 129, okay? Look, and if, and if it does get stuck, it'll back itself up and you can pull it right out. And you see, that, that's a really good thing that that happened. If it gets a little bit stuck because there's a little bit of a clip on there or something, don't worry about it. All right. Uh, we're not the only ones to tell you to get this. Here's that uh, Federal T uh, Trade Commission. Billy, why don't you read this for everybody? Um, this is from their webpage directly. There's many steps we can take to reduce the risk of being that identity theft victim. For example, guard your social security number. We've heard that for years. But they say shred. Shred charge receipts, credit applications, and other sensitive documents. And, Guy, I love how you went through all those others and showed everyone. Because, yes, it's about protecting yourself. You know, it's also about privacy. I don't want my paycheck stub, you know, out in the neighbor's yard if my garbage can gets knocked over. And it's also about managing the clutter. We are in spring cleaning mode and I want to start fresh in the office. Or maybe it's the kitchen counter where all those receipts have been hauled on to. 
clear them off, get rid of them, shred them, because you can't just throw them away. The last four digits on a credit card number can be information. So imagine that, it's a receipt with the last four digits, it's another document with the last name, someone who gets that information can open an account in your name. So you're just taking all that stuff and you're managing the clutter, you're protecting yourself and it feels good. We call it shredding therapy because all of a sudden that burden of like, oh, I got all this stuff around me, it's gone. It's managed, it's under control. And it's not like I, you know, I cut a corner where I'm, how many of us have done this? Bathroom garbage can, kitchen garbage can. And where does it all end up? At the curb. And that's really what Guy was talking about at the beginning. Once it's out at the curb, it's not behind closed doors. It's really, truly fair game. And that's where if you're putting out micro cut, it looks like they missed the, the Easter party or the birthday party versus they came to the party and walked away with your private information. But for a lot of us, shredding was a chore. It was a hassle. It was a headache. So this stacks and stacks just kept getting bigger and bigger to the point where we're like, oh, just get rid of it. We throw it away. Nope. I open up this drawer, I can take, you know, this may just be 12 pages right over here, or it could be 130 and you just let it do the work. So I can go back to sending an email or going through this drawer and what's in this drawer. Okay, let's just keep shredding and because it feels good. I mean, I think we've all been there. We're, we're in the cleaning zone. It's like, okay, don't stop me. It feel, it's feeling that good. One thing you also have to realize, we only have three other shows planned today for the Today Special. We don't have a lot of these. The finish in and of itself is a nice special feature because it's beautiful. You leave it out, you're going to use it. Because that junk mail comes in, boom, shred it. Get rid of it. That credit card offer, shred it. So get one while we have the shiny finishes, whether it's even that black. It's a simple upgrade, but it looks good because not all our embassies even offer that. And the bin itself is even larger. It's the little features that embassy puts in here that makes it a nice treat for yourself. Because yes, there's a treat to getting rid of this stuff and doing it smart. And you know, we'll have other embassy shredders, but when it's a customer pick, you get the shiny finish, you get, you know, the free shipping, which we always can't offer. And that's really where getting it home, even if you got it home for 30 days and just really purged and saw how it worked, you can always send it back. But you know, that stack of paper is not done. It keeps coming and coming, or you find more. And that's why you use this all the time. And the more you use it, the more you're protecting yourself. Yeah. Remember, it's one in seven. It's happened to me. I can name a few show hosts that it's happened to as yeah. well because our information is out there. You know, what I love, I love the auto shred. Not all shredders have auto shred, okay? Not, right. all of, not all of them have it. And that's one of the things that I've always loved about the shredder is that I can take a stack of papers and I can put them at the back and I can walk away from it. And it automatically turns off as soon as all the paper is gone. And you'll see we're getting down to the wire here. As soon as all the paper is gone, it'll automatically shut off. We're also getting to the point where it's going to fill. And remember, it has an auto shut off when it fills as well. But it just finished that last chunk of paper. And you'll hear it running clean. And then in a matter of seconds, it'll turn itself off. It's very energy efficient. Embassy also has a huge customer support line. If you have any issues whatsoever, you can uh, give them a call. Uh, they are open eight to five. There's also an email customer support that you can use. If you look at the top of the unit itself, again, I could turn it off. There's a little zero there. That's how you turn it off. If you want to reverse, you pull back. So if you, you, know, if you ran over something you know, that was in the mail that you didn't need, you can hear it backing up. If you want to go forward and just hand put the sheets in up to one to 10 at a time, you put it in position number one. Then there's a, there's a forward button there too. I said it was a two, but it actually is two little forwards. Um, like, you know, like on your tape player, that just means you can use the 130 uh, auto uh, shredder in the back. All right, and that's all you do. And then we return it back to zero. Um, as far as recycling, uh, you know, it really is nice when you can help the cause by doing something like this. If this was individual sheets of paper, this would be about five to, to six times bigger, but I've got all my stuff recycled right in the bin like that. You're doing the right thing by doing that. Get it home. Uh, you know, I know a lot of you think uh, it's never going to happen to me. Nobody's going to steal my identity. I bet a lot of people that have had their identity stolen said that. And guess what? It's a nightmare. Get it home. This is silver. That's black. That is the uh, champagne gold. They all have the mirror finish in the front. They all have the window. They're the taller design. Get it on for $32 uh, and change. Try it out, uh, especially now with tax season so close. And we're going to be signing those documents. And yeah, at New Year's time, look what you can do. Ooh, Happy it's day. Party. Yeah, I love it. Hey, Bill, don't go anywhere. We've got the iPad yes. coming up in just a bit. So we've got another presentation of that. I wanted to remind you, too, that uh, if you need, any of the uh, the bin liners. I have those available. They come in a box. You get 50 up.